Thank you very much. That's awesome. Wow, what an introduction. I like that. <laughs> and being dramatic, why not? I like the balancing act, you know. I am 74 years old, and I can still balance myself. <laughs> I bet a lot of you can. I would challenge you. Anyway, going back, I want to introduce myself, give you a little bit about my background. Since I can remember, as a very young little girl, I was always taken aback by beauty, style, wearing my mother's high heels and putting on hats and what have you. Well, I'll tell you, I got married, I was a stay-at-home mom, and all of a sudden I received a sewing machine for a birthday gift. I didn't sew. <laughs> but I did sign up for classes. And that was where I learned haute couture, which is custom tailoring and custom dressmaking, where I learned the essence of color, what color does to each and every one of us. You know a little bit about that, a whole lot about that. And also fabrics, the textures, what wears be best, what gives you the longest hardware, all of this. While I was a stay-at-home mom, Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that one day I would be forced into a career change. So after 18 years, I ended up a single woman. Four years and a half after that, I ended up in New York City. I grew up in a small town in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, first born of the second family, immigrant parents. I knew no English when I went to school. But I'll tell you, when it comes time to grow, you grow quickly and you jump. <laughs> so four and a half years later, I ended up in New York City working in the fashion industry. Two years later, I was tapped to come and join Miss Universe Incorporated. Wow, never in my wildest dreams, from sewing little garments for my children, going into uh, sewing suits for myself, designing hats, and all kinds of wonderful things, and here I am where these things are making a big difference. Reminds me of the Thai story that you often tell and you told this morning. You never know what tomorrow's going to bring. Look at the opportunities that cross your path. Never hesitate to learn what you can, because tomorrow it might mean survival or thriving. So here I am in the office for Miss Universe Incorporated, interviewed by the president, very tall, elegant man, and very stuffy. <laughs> <laughs> He asked me many questions. Some were rather um, uh, kind of uh, challenging uh, mentally. And uh, you know what? I didn't think I had a chance. But he got up at the end of our interview. He says, when can you start? It had never happened. When the administrator outside no noticed that I was going to be uh, hired, she says, wow, he's not going to see you again. I said, no. It's done. It's a done deal. We talked about money. We talked about everything. Well, it happened. I got my first little girl, a Miss USA. First thing that I find out, he takes me, my boss again takes me over to the side. He says, she looks a mess. Tomorrow morning, you take her out shopping. So we did. And this experience working with Miss Universe Incorporated made me realize the importance of packaging our image for business. Yes. It didn't matter that she had a beautiful face and a gorgeous figure. She had to look professional because we were representing sponsors like General Motors, Procter & Gamble, many other big, and then to boot, traveling internationally. So we had a crash course of proper dress, 
protecting that image because the paparazzi does uh, follow you around. The manners, the common courtesies, the sensitivity to other cultures that we were facing on a regular basis when we would have to travel to foreign countries. All of this made me realize if this company that supposedly deals with glamour, why isn't this practice in our businesses and with one-on-one? -on -one? We don't have to be titleless. I want every single person to realize who they are, celebrating the beautiful human beings that have been created. Individually, you are one of a kind, and you are not going to look like a movie star on television. So get over that one. <laughs> also, de defining your style does not mean that you have to be willowy skinny doesn't mean that you have to be young. At 74, I'll tell you, I have a lot of style. <laughs> and I am proud of it. And because of it, I celebrate the fact that I am a healthy, older, mature woman with a lot of wisdom that I can share with as many as possible. And this is what I felt after I left Miss Universe. I felt I am going to do this I didn't do it right away, but I am going to do this on my own and have my own business one day. And guess what? My book is coming, too. I am going to be <laughs> writing a book. So I am visualizing that I will be sitting next to Oprah one day, and she will say, well, Ruth, how did it all get started? In a little small village in the San Fernando Valley. But I'll tell you, businesses, bus whether you are an employer or an employee, be the best you can be. You don't know who you are going to meet, whether it's in your office, down the street. Mm -hmm. Be prepared. Just be cutting edge. Take full control of how you put yourself together. Celebrate the beautiful creation that you are, whether you are a man or a woman. Uh, an older woman, a young uh, woman, whomever, it doesn't matter. Just be. Because I'll tell you, when you do feel good about yourself, you will produce more. Yes. And not only that, as the economic situation continues and we start to tighten budgets, guess what? Quality, value, and excellence is going to become more important than ever. Where are you going to stand? Thank you. Thank you.